most popular is something called number file which has something like uh, well, I guess at this stage it's approaching one and a half million subscribers, if not more. Hundreds of millions of views across the videos and given the title number file, you probably can hazard a guess as to what that channel is all about. 60 Symbols is the physics version. So Brady works with um, the University of Nottingham and a range of academics in the school and in other schools. Uh, to we do a series of short videos anywhere from oh, a couple of minutes I guess is the shortest and I suppose the longest might be 20 minutes something like that and we cover a wide range of topics and each one when you go to the website the main website you will see a range of different symbols some of those symbols are fairly straightforward pi q here for charge what else have we got that h for Planck's constant some which are a little bit um, less I guess obvious this one for Schrodinger's cat and this one is our most popular video we academics have no input at all into the 60 symbols videos Brady films them and he goes away and the first time we see them is when we upload them so it's a sort of warts and all presentation of physics and that is useful particularly in the context of you thinking about going on to do physics degrees because it gives you an idea of the sort of enthusiasms and um, research interests and also the way that physics is explained at university and um, so that's that's why I bring it up I flag it up here it's we're very proud of this channel of course but as an insight into university physics and an insight into university scientists 60 symbols might be helpful so I mentioned the intellectual excitement and the intellectual challenge etc and the sheer fun of doing physics but the great thing about a physics degree is, as well as all that intellectual challenge and intellectual excitement, you end up getting a really good job. And it's moved on, the perception of physics thankfully has moved on from where it was 20 years ago, where it used to be thought that basically if you did a physics degree, you either became a physics lecturer or a physics teacher. And that really is nonsense. And where our graduates go really bears out that that is nonsense. So if we look at this, down here, um, you can see, okay, we've got the typical ones, professor, lecturer, researcher, perhaps the ones you would think. But we've got ones on here that perhaps you mightn't have guessed. Royal Air Force Navigator, Patent Attorney, um, what else have we got? Oil Trader, um, some really exciting ones, head of MI6, some perhaps less exciting ones, but it gives you an idea of the whole scope, the range, the variety of um, careers that are possible with, with physics. And um, physics is seen to be a challenge, and a lot of employers see, um, really want to employ physicists because, rightly or wrongly, and I think it's rightly, the idea is that if you can really get your head around a physics problem and solve a physics problem, then you can tackle most things. So there's a, there's a lot of um, uh, a lot of enthusiasm f amongst employers to get um, physicists on board. This is uh, from uh, U.S. Census data from a number of years back, and what it is is it shows you the destinations for a range of college majors, as they say, of, um, students who've done graduates of physical sciences degrees. So I should point out this isn't just physics; it's also chemistry and anything else with a sort of physical science aspect to it. And of course, as you might expect, they go into the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics um, careers. But physicists and those in the physical sciences go absolutely everywhere else as well, into a wide range of career families. And that's because when you learn physics, of course, there's the you know the 